and action. <laughs> Welcome everybody to uh, the first episode of something we hope to make many more of. This is the first episode of Pod Okay Please. And uh, myself, Pranay. <laughs> like my name is pranay and today i am here to present yeah it's <laughs> not what we do <laughs> <laughs> but uh i was just thinking about this when we came up with the name pot okay please we like as a khulla rip off kiya truck walo ka like i never would have thought 10 years ago that 10 years later i would be doing a podcast with you with a oh, name yeah. ripped off ripped off from truck signs trucks yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess background about us for the people who don't know us. See, I don't know who's ever going to watch this, but let's say let's assume that there will be someone who's watching this. My parents will watch this. <laughs> oh, so we should keep it PG. No. Oh, okay, good. I mean, let's see. I don't know. <laughs> it depends Things can on get the joke. out of control real quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, so I guess both of us move to the US from India. Yes. I moved 8 years ago uh for my undergrad and uh I'm still an undergrad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's 4 yeah. years ago for me, almost. Almost 4 years. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like the whole the whole point of this podcast we decided to basically record our conversations that we have whenever we talk to each other and we it often yeah. starts off with us talking about things here and then eventually it always like goes back to india and oh, yeah. we talk we start talking yeah. shit about that so we're like ye acha concept hai let's try to document some of this yeah so the idea is basically like to talk about things that we relate to um there's there's been many moments in my life where i've ordered wings and then and then i've been like this is nothing compared to like good kebabs you know it's the same concept chicken cooked yeah. flavored hmm. but it's nothing compared to good kebabs is it the same thing though i don't know it's the same you want like nice little bite sized chicken pieces but kebab mein haddi nahi hota depends wings mein haddi hota ha matlab boneless wings <laughs> oh boneless <laughs> or or you can like kebab mein haddi hota hai like hence kebab mein haddi <laughs> but you don't but that's oh, a point that, you don't want you don't thing. yeah yeah you don't want the haddi mm. like dal mein kala kebab mein haddi like there are a lot of yeah. things that what about tangdi kebab though that's a you your it's not a stereo that's the stuff you get at barbecue nation and you avoid because then you'll get full yeah yeah so they got around they got around the loophole of that kebab mein haddi because they're like kebab mein haddi is a problem but if we tell them that it yeah. is tangri kebab ha <laughs> <you know, laughs> they just they assume that this what haddi you, is there for a reason what do you think about tandoori chicken is that a kebab or no because it's got hardy it's def- it's like a whole leg of chicken i think tandoori chicken is the size of tandoori chicken is definitely above the threshold of a kebab yes because when i think about kebab i think of like bite sized appetizer you know log, uh, like tray mein leke aate with toothpick and yeah the pudding yeah, yeah, yeah. yes like that's what i think yeah how do you how did you you ever been in those situations like yeah someone gets you a kebab with a toothpick there's this nice waiter dressed up big dumb and then most parties that i've been to have been worse dressed than that guy yeah <laughs> <laughs> i've never had a white shirt that white yeah <laughs> and then and then he gives you the toothpick and you take the toothpick and you eat you eat a kebab and like me yeah. me kabhi ek nahi uthane ka like hamesha दो तीन तो उठाने का अच्छा मतलब एक ही टूथपिक से मल्टीपल कबाब्स नहीं नहीं दैट ओनली वर्क्स विद पनीर टिक्का यस हैव यू ट्राइड दिस विद हैव यू ट्राइड दिस विद द टूथपिक हैव यू गॉन फुल डंबेल ऑन द कबाब्स लाइक हैव यू टेकन द टूथपिक पोक वन कबाब टर्न इट ओवर पोक द सेकंड कबाब एंड देन यू हैव अ डंबेल नो नो हाउ नो दैट्स स्मार्ट 
No, I, I should try that. I, I see, there's only one pointy end. <laughs> the I other know, end is not pointy. Some toothpicks have two. Really? Yeah, seriously. Huh. I've definitely seen toothpicks with two pointy ends, but I don't know. That's wow, man, technology. Yeah, 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 but holy shit. Going back to tandoori chicken, yeah, I don't think that qualifies. Yeah. As a kebab. No, no. So, so what I was talking about was when you when you take a toothpick from that guy, like you take, yeah. let's say you take three kebabs, okay, because that's yeah. a normal thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but. Um, what do you do with those toothpicks? No one comes. I don't know. No one comes back to take them. Like yeah. so, and then then they just go in your jeans cup pocket. Like, yeah. so. <laughs> and you just hold that one toothpick in your hand while you're making conversation with people. Yeah, yeah. You end up doing that, and and then when like you want something else, and then you have to make a decision. It's like I have one toothpick, but then he has fresh toothpicks. Huh. Yes, yes, that happens all the time. Yeah, and this, you know, your saliva is on this toothpick. So now in this corona time, this is like... Sinful. Sinful, yeah. And this will take center stage in media, I feel like. (laughs) (laughs) The toothpick conundrum. (laughs) Yeah, dude. So, India, I think the corona will be like this. Use toothpicks. Toothpicks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about this the other day. You don't share toothpicks though, but it's like, so you take the toothpick, you put it in the kebab and then it's, it's no contact, bro. Like it doesn't come in contact with any, like the rest of the plate. The problem is if you dip it in oh, the chutney, yeah. Aha, yeah. then what, what's the boundary? If you like you, you take a used toothpick, you take a kebab because your initial thought is that ye kebab main khane wala hai, ye jhuta nahi hai. Main jhuta kuch kar raha nahi hai. And then you take it and then you eat it. And um, what, what if you want to dip it in chutney? Like that's a fine gray area. But then when you're dipping it in chutney, you're not dipping the toothpick in chutney. You're dipping the fresh kebab in the chutney. What if it permeates? Like what if? No, the porosity of the, the... kebab is the... <laughs> I mean, could you be baking it? <laughs> <laughs> But I haven't had that experience. Last time I had the whole, you know, kebab with the little toothpick and waiter experience was February last year. I went to my cousin's wedding. Oh, yeah. That was, it's, I, I mean, you, there is. Like, you have cocktail parties and stuff. and then you. So, yeah. So, my uncle and aunt and my family, like, when we all get together, so most times it's really fancy. Now that I look back. There's yeah. always, like, toothpicks and, you know, like, a caviar starters waters rega matlab uh-huh. restaurant style food at home yeah you know, that that's been a big difference you come to america and you rarely have that you rarely have like you i've never gone to anyone's house rarely have i gone to anyone's house who i'm not talking about families and adults i'm talking about like people like you and me right mm. and no one's like hey come over i have this full ass spread of food <laughs> you know, like that's how it happens in India most times. I, yeah. But but then I'm comparing family to non-family, so that that may not be right. Yeah, and also like, I mean, I mean, we've been in college. College, like people don't even. I mean, people live off of ramen and shit. Huh. So. But now, yeah, it's been a while since college. It's been like two years. Now we should get sophisticated. Yeah, but. I mean, I'm, I'm, these P, these kids and students our age are probably just using that money that they would have invited us and fed us for student loans. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> student loans or <laughs> throw a banger of a party with yeah. waiters and shit. <laughs> That's true. It's a, yeah. it's a weird time, man. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I haven't gone to a lot of like adult parties thrown by my friends oh i went with you once to um we went for that christmas thing at your friend's place oh yeah i guess that was a dog that place had good food man like but they were again were they your age were they our age or were they older my age like our age oh so oh man they were more responsible than us (laughs) 
they don't have student loans <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so i so i i was i was looking this up uh fun facts about tandoori chicken don't ask me why i was looking it up <laughs> but i i had a thought it was like would tandoori chicken have any fun facts turns out there is something that i didn't know uh-huh. so uh there's this guy who used to live in punjab in 1947 okay, okay. yeah and then he moved to delhi in 1947 and uh-huh. he opened what a time a to move to delhi yeah he was like fuck yeah. this mai ha mai side le raha mai delhi mein ja raha and he was like <laughs> He was like, "I'm going to open a restaurant," and this one dude, I'm forgetting his name. I wrote it down somewhere, but this one dude, he is responsible for inventing tandoori chicken in 1947, and butter chicken. This one guy, he butter chicken was made in India. Yeah, yeah. Oh dude, man! By this one guy, the whole his name country is, owes this guy so much. Our country and the world. <laughs> yeah, his yeah. name is uh, Kundan Lal Gujral. Kundan Lal Gujral. The Gujarat. restaurant he opened was Moti Mahal in Delhi. I have heard of Moti Mahal. Is there a Moti Mahal in every city? Maybe because of this reason. Oh. Moti Mahal is something I've definitely. Is that an actual palace? Moti Mahal it sounds like an Indian fashion designer. But <laughs> I think Moti Mahal is an actual Mahal, bro. <laughs> like, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure. He, he that it's probably a mahal now with the amount of money he must have earned. Moti Mahal is also a restaurant in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a Wikipedia article Moti Mahal. Uh, oh, this house house in Pakistan, a global chain of restaurants. Uh, uh, Moti Mahal, Moti Shahi Mahal is the Sar Sardar Vallabh Bhai. Patel National Memorial and Moti Mahal Lucknow's campus of some university. It's also a movie. So this is like Himesh Reshmiya. He's actor, director, writer. This <laughs> 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 one Moti Mahal is everything. Yeah. yeah, I bet it started with that 1947. Or maybe how, there was. How funny is it? Some of the best food we've ever had came in the year of our independence. Yeah, yeah. It's so it's, poetic. Yeah, he got a little too free. He was like, <laughs> "Fuck it." <laughs> so I I heard a fact recently. I don't know where. Um, I don't know who told me, but India initially didn't have a lot of spices. Yeah, the the British and whoever else came, they got spices into India. Huh. maybe yeah so they, we 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 ate very bland food and i think then they came in and then i don't think i mean looking at the blandness the general blandness of a lot of food that you see uh as everyone says like indian food is spicy and everything else is relatively bland right yeah uh, there are many exceptions but so it's like they they had spices but we did something with them well so i was i was reading this today um apparently north india had blander food than the south this is ancient times i believe that but we still we still had pepper though we we had pepper and we had cinnamon cinnamon was like from india Cinnamon huh. was from India. Pepper we grew, and I can um yeah who knows. Nice, but we don't. I I like one thing I found weird when I moved to America is cinnamon is in a lot of sweet things here. Yep, yep. Which was very confusing to me. Then I had Fireball whiskey, and then I understood. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know, fireball sense. man. It just it just confuses your senses. That's the alcoholic That's portion of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also the taste. Dude, imagine yeah. you're you're going from like 
pumpkin spice latte where they use cinnamon and now they're like oh yeah by the way there's this one thing that's going to make you forget all of the things and this yeah. has cinnamon and then you associate cinnamon with that and then i had a toothpaste with cinnamon in it and i remember brushing my teeth after a night of fireball with the cinnamon toothpaste and it was oh, the most damn. gruesome time of my life <laughs> <laughs> it was bad it was bad but cinnamon toothpaste ha yaha pe matlab sab kuch mein cinnamon ghusate hai log ha but then you we go vajradanti I that has what? spices in it that has a lot of spices yeah 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 i love the taste though it's a, it's a Something nice tasting about... yeah it's weird it's not it's not minty why it's... why did people think it would be a good idea to add spices in toothpaste i mean it's going in your mouth so it should taste good that's one thing but yeah i think it was a it was mainly a test of will power <laughs> it was like don't swallow yeah. <laughs> there's a thing you cannot eat where we're going to put i'm going to make it exactly like food <laughs> it's your will power stick it in your mouth swallow it around spit it out yeah it's good for your teeth yeah <laughs> and we should make that experience uh, memorable via taste so yeah and yeah. you don't want a bad tasting toothpaste what's a bad tasting toothpaste have you had have you used one uh no oh, this is not I was going to tasting toothpaste i was going to say you know the thing that they would chew on like oh they say they cut it and like old timey they would chew on like a little thing like a root or something and that's supposed to like clean your teeth i've heard of that i don't know gaon mein bhi karte hai but like huh? what is that gaon mein abhi bhi karte hai wo aise i really? think so i'm not i'm speaking from personal experience of all yeah. the the many gaons that i have lived in <laughs> <laughs> hashtag bhanir <laughs> yeah <laughs> technically yeah. uh yeah but that was like our old timey tooth brush and paste all at all in one yes yeah but uh Have you have you heard of this thing called uh, I remember I remember I think when we were growing up when we were 5 6 years old there were a lot of uh, toothpaste ads which basically gave the direction like oh use toothpaste it's better than tooth powder like tooth powder may nahi hota and at that point i was like we we moved far along with that and tooth powder yeah yeah there's something tooth powder tooth people used to use tooth powder in place of toothpaste i think before toothpaste became really big or really good i don't know hmm wow. yeah so i've i've i definitely remember that is like aapke like the, the toothpaste is uh, you know this toothpaste is better than the traditional tooth powder that you used I think, to use i think too many people in india started taking the tooth powder and just started doing this shit as they put it in like supari all over the powder hai powder hai tu mein dalne ka inshallah we have the skills just take some ha kar lenge oh man yeah i tried that once here not oh yeah yeah not no. the like the actual supari thing or whatever that is supari only that? no yeah, supari. i don't know what it's called pan no not pan pawa no gutka 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 yeah, it wasn't gutka it was like it, it's called chew here so it's just tobacco yeah. in like a box like loose tobacco probably processed yeah uh, leaves and i've, like, I've heard like, it like it cuts into your gums and stuff it has fiberglass in it small fiber glass pieces so that's how it gets into your system why is that a good idea putting fiber it's not glass? it's gross i tried a couple of times it's it's pretty bad it's all the rage here but like yeah you you basically take some and then you like stick it in you and mean, then you mean americans have their own gutka mukesh <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> holy yeah. shit dude <laughs> 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 Here it's called Gutka Mike. But... <laughs> uh, oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I mean it it does the job. You definitely feel something. Yeah. 
uh, and it's legal. And yeah. I used to work in this. I used to, I used to do an internship here, and uh, <laughs> so I'm not going to reveal any names, but okay. uh, this this fact it was a factory, and it had a lot of big, heavy machinery, you know, right. which would come down like bang, bang. I mean, you can like easily lose your life. Okay. If you do it the wrong way. Yeah. And these people. We would go out on lunches. I would go to the local subway because that's the only thing that was in that little town. Yeah. That and a McDonald's. That's it. And a Chinese restaurant for some reason. Yeah. But uh, I would come back and these people would be standing in the parking lot with their cars, like the the tailgate open. And they would see me coming in and they would be like, yo, you want, you want to get some of this? And I was like, what? And like... I, First few times what I could said it possibly no. be? <laughs> I don't know. First few times I said yeah. no. I thought it was like, so dabba khol ke dere khana rega. Uh, Achha, but then, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that. I thought that. <laughs> then I went, eventually just went to hang out and I saw that they were all doing that thing. The, the oh. two, they were all putting, and this is like lunch break. So they have like four hours more to go. Oh yeah, man. Everyone who does it in India, they're all like working they're functional. people. Yeah, no, no, yeah. they're working people like rickshawalas. Yeah, and um, they can function with that. And I, I tried it once. I was on the couch. I was just like, whoa. It's trippy? It's that hard? No, no, it's just like a concentrated nicotine buzz that you get. And oh, it's okay. concentrated. And you're definitely loopy and shit. Then you feel pukey if you swallow something. Ah. Yeah. It's all kind of messed up. But Nice, nice. Yeah, it's quite the, quite the experience. Yeah. But uh, tandoori chicken I mean, tastes better. Huh? Tandoori chicken tastes better. <laughs> <laughs> Bet. <laughs> yeah, chew the bones if you want strong teeth. But I actually know people. Like I think my grandfather or my great grandfather or somebody. Initially, mm-hmm. they just used to eat the bones. Well, like why waste the bones? I I think at some point. Are you getting a call? No, I just, I noticed that I'm like on the edge of the camera. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you, you ever, chicken bones. have you chicken ever, bones. chicken bones? Never. Yeah. Not even thought about it. Never. Yeah. I thought it's dangerous. Like I, I actively didn't give my dog chicken or like really made sure it was completely boneless because it gets stuck in your throat. And that can yeah. Harmful. Do dogs actually swallow a full bone? They like to chew. No, on they no. That that's what. So they eat. My dog used to eat really carelessly when he used to eat chicken. He just, eat, you know. And but with mutton, he loved mutton bones. Those are harder. So more the challenge. Easier. Not nothing's a challenge. It'll it'll be gone in like three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> but. It's, it's, it's just, I think it breaks down more easy. Uh, it's, it's, oh no, it's tougher to break down. So there's, there's not many chances of like stray pieces getting stuck. In oh, his okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a weird thing. Like, yeah. Chicken bones, never even thought about it. Mutton bones. Yeah. Ball yeah. Game. Yeah. Dude, I love the bone marrow. Oh, that's the best the best. Part. Like my mom, do the little, you, you do for the little uh, blowing thing. Just, yeah. you, you're more of a sucker than a blower. You can't blow it. It's blocked on you're one end blow. most times. Yeah, that's the that's the point. You like break one end. One end's oh. open. The other end, you like try to get a hole that kind of relieves the pressure. And then that's why I became an engineer is because of the anatomy of mutton. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then you blow it, and then it comes out but it doesn't come out until you break that second side oh yeah 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 because even when like so i'm i suck yeah (laughs) i know that (laughs) so you kind of break one end open yeah and then you suck from the other side Hmm. but also it's more like you know when uh that bone marrow spoon thing came out the tiny little um there's a yeah. bone marrow spoon? Yeah, you didn't know this? No. No, there's like this tiny little steel uh, rod kind of thing. Super tiny. You you can actually put it in, dig it, 
scared out. Nice. Yeah, when I found out about that, I it blew my mind because it was like, oh, now I don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the last big challenge for human yeah. beings. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Who invented it? Elon. I don't know. Not Elon. <laughs> <laughs> the space like bone marrow <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is we have reached this point of like super delicateness where this is a challenge like i'm sure back in the day 10000 years ago we were just like bone marrow yeah and just fucking break the bone open with your teeth yeah it's we were harder people back then it was it was either like yeah. the bone marrow is going to break or my teeth are going to break and yeah. then i'm going to die because antibiotics aren't the thing yeah <laughs> so <laughs> yeah it's They're not what antibiotics weren't a thing oh yeah 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 of course yeah that's that's something i always think about when people are like oh you know like i really want to go back to like oh the 13th century and like live amongst like akbar and all of these people or even whoever like back in the day i was like yeah you do realize that ibuprofen is not a thing crocine is not a thing you know you penicillin your bed won't be as soft as it is now yeah your clothes won't be as soft yeah like you'll have silk yeah If and you like... won't have tandoori chicken yeah because kundan lal wasn't there <laughs> yeah dude no kundan <laughs> it's like akbar sh- akbar ke chef ne kya ukhada tandoori chicken nahi banaya ho <laughs> kya banaya unhone unhone kuch sab biryani to they, they just ate ra. like mo- mutton boiled with like a uh, basic spice biryani yes when yeah, it ri- when it, we've always had rice right yeah rice and ba- barley is pretty uh goes back like 7000 years oh wow. uh, b- rice and then it was mainly like rice barley meat just like meat pre- and yeah the thing is the thing is before like controversial word here but i'm using it in the indian context the aryans yeah before they came down from like the hindu kush mountains yeah there was like a whole different kind of people living in that area and yes wo log sab khate the beef pork sab kuch jo bhi milta tha khate the and then huh. after the the vedic era started then they started like correlating religion with food habits yes and uh, i'm i'm sure people ate meat man i'm sure tere mein aise harami log rahenge wo like are they beef kha ke dekhne ka ha wo aise jungle mein ja ke khate the shayad akele mein that would be that was that was like back like they would they would fucking hunt their animals yeah. probably and just cook it there and like khane ka and like mummy ko padane ka nahi ghar pe yeah man But back then there was no like i mean if you're gone you're you left the house you left left the hut in the village and you're in the jungle you don't know if you're coming back alive so like no one's going to be able to find you so you I can mean, eat how many wild animals there there were a bunch of i mean if you can find a deer there's likely to be a tiger around oh like a dead deer no any deer. live deer any yeah. deer who's who's controlling that population I mean, yeah, true. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, yeah. It's mental. Like now, I'm going to invoke Ramayan like every good Indian. Kid. I was thinking about that. Are jungle me? Bahar jaane ka matlab ho Ramayan. Ram did 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> But even in that, he's hunting deer. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah, What's yeah, that yeah. Deer? Yeah. What? There's a whole there's a I mean there's have you read these books by Amish? I you've told me about them. I haven't read Look, them. These these books are fascinating. They kind of change your perspective. So they basically they make it more believable. They make the story more believable and they make he makes it more human. Mm. You know, like it's more possible and about uh, for about the first five chapters and then he involves immortality Aliens. ka juice oh. and everything. and ha uh, somras bro like uh, oh. that, that was this thing which kind of kept you alive forever if you took it in decent doses or something and that was like the uh, most desired thing 
back then because everyone wanted to stay alive forever or something damn we have come a long way from there man yeah that was like abhi a... rasna milta humko bro ha abhi rasna aur fruity ke liye marte hai there's this there's this guy in uh, suburbs of chicago who makes a drink called somras and uh, this thing dreads? is beautiful ha huh? yeah. does he have dreads Dre- is he a white no. guy with dreads no, no it's a indian guy okay okay guy. yeah yeah and he makes it's a proper um it's nice it's like a liquor it's sweet it's af- it's a after dinner drink oh that's cool yeah so it's like beautiful stuff shout out to somras because you guys have given me good times so you get it in a bottle yeah yeah you get it in a bottle wow. you will find it at uh, benny's or something nice mm. abhi tell me this you get the zero calorie version of that that's not indian enough man <laughs> 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 I wouldn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Somras light. Yeah. No, no. No, let's not. Please let's not do that. Who are listening kind sir, do not do that. Som- Somras with stevia. <laughs> no. I do not would buy that. Uh no. <laughs> That's maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean Yeah, I guess you have to like at some point if you're writing a book. The thing about writing books about ancient sources that you don't really have a lot of sources about is that you there comes a point where there's like this big gap and then you're like what happens in this gap is basically the imagination that fuels the book, you know? Yes. Cuz I'm 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 seeing this in a, from a different context right now or in a different context right now. I was watching Vikings. Okay. And I'm is like that, almost, is that like a history channel show? Yeah, it used to be. Yeah, it it started off as a history yeah. channel show. Now it's on Prime. Oh, But okay. The Viking like history is also it, it's basically kind of like what we had cuz we had the two big epics, right? Like Mahabharata and Ramayana. Right. So they had <clears throat> these sagas. of like different Odin vikings yeah 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 different vikings going and doing different things like the, yeah. like there's a saga about ragnar lothbrok a viking that first yeah. sailed to like england and then basically wrecked ha huh. england so um, the point i was trying to make assassin's creed um valhalla Did you Dude, see that? I'm waiting. Did you see that trailer? I am wait. Yeah, it's yeah. That's that's what that's what. That is gonna like. be a mental game, man. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be insane. It is gonna be insane. Also on PS5. So that's that's yeah. gonna be that's gonna be a level up. Definitely. PS5. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, I cannot wait for that. Yeah. But yeah, these Viking, this the whole show. There's history, but they're so. there's so little of actual history that they found that right. a lot of it is just them kind of filling in the blanks it's like oh maybe that's the thing right that's the thing the be. history is written by winners yeah. and the winners again i think the people who wiped out the vikings i and i don't know much about the history i'm just going off literally based on the assassin's creed trailer <laughs> right uh they they fought the english at some point and i'm guessing the english won no they didn't win oh they got wrecked initially oh really they got wrecked yeah when was Because, this when when were the vikings what year was it 9th like, century it was from oh. 9th to the 11th century basically because some genius dude had an idea from the scandinavian places ki wahan pe kuch hai we know there's something mm. so we're going to sail there and they had they had these boats these long boats which gave them an advantage because it was super fast and yeah. it it wasn't like a deep boat so it it was pretty shallow so it could like mm. get right up to the up to the coast oh okay so they just they, like could, they could just like get on the beach yeah so they just sailed oh. and they came upon this land and they're like oh we see churches they went inside the church they just saw people praying and no like soldiers and they just saw like gold and silver everywhere they were like they've just left unprotected 
like yeah. <laughs> valuable shit. We're just gonna take that back. Yeah. So that's how it started, and then the kings found out, and then they made. Then there was like deals, trade deals they made because a lot of these people wanted to settle and farm. It's like yeah. this whole history, which is, as you can tell, I'm very. I I yeah. I realized one thing about myself. I freaking love history. I was gonna say something else, but yeah, I was like, "Thoda PG rakhte." Cool. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, history It, is awesome. You turned me onto that podcast, History of English. Aha! Uh-huh. Yes. That that is one fact. I I saw a, I heard about three or four episodes of it, and a lot of that. The first few episodes deals with how English came about and Germanic yeah. English, and you know everything. And yeah, dude, it's just. And he kind of name. reads out lines. So there's three levels of English, like current English, then thoda pehle ka, then before that also. I don't yep. know the years. I don't know the dates, right? There's like yeah, old and English. He, and he reads out the same statement. Yeah, 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 yeah. That blew my mind. Yeah, that was amazing. Um, he he says it, and it's not recognizable. The one you might catch one or two words out of that entire sentence, which is probably fifteen twenty words long. You might catch one or two words which sound a little familiar, and then before that, it's you cannot understand anything. The, yep. For the earlier version, the first version. Yeah, it's uh, well, it was like a, it sounds a lot German, like the older version of England sounds very German because it is a Germanic language. Yeah, also so, a little Scottish from the tone. Yeah, you know that the Big. tone that they have where you you think they've uh, not finished a sentence, <laughs> but they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I can't imagine. What are you doing? It. What are you doing, that lad? Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> This is Sir Alex Ferguson's speech after everything. Yeah, you know the lads played well, and uh, <laughs> he's always like, "Oh, the lads played well, and now uh, kept the ball." Yeah, yeah. You think he's done? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you think like, he's not done? You think he's, he's not gonna... done? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah man, oh that's hilarious. Have you going back to chicken? <laughs> we just like we started here, and yeah. then we were just like, "Screw this! We're gonna take a complete right turn into yeah. Germanic languages and England and no Vikings." <laughs> and then we came back, and then somehow slipped an Assassin's Creed because <laughs> yeah. Vikings. Um, but yeah, going back to chicken. So this is a strong opinion that I have. It's a very strong opinion. There's a massive difference between. Chicken tikka masala, and chicken tikka masala. Hmm. They're not the same things. In India, did Bes- you ever have Besides chicken the tikka? Why? It's different. It's two different things. I've never had a good chicken tikka masala in this. The thing is, okay, the first thing in India, I don't remember there being many re- dishes or many restaurants having this dish. Called chicken tikka masala because it's just chicken tikka is the kebab version, right? Yes. Do we like? I've not had a lot of dishes where we put that in a masala curry or whatever. I no, I agree. Yeah. You know, I it's haven't... not a thing. It's 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 a thing over here, and most Indian places that I've been to here, they don't do it well because it's like the outer covering of the chicken is done, but You cut in, and there's there nothing. There's no flavor inside. It's just like boiled chicken. Yeah, no, no. Uh, the the porosity quotient. Yes. Chicken. You gotta We marinate. Marinate. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I mean, poke some holes in that. Right? Like because they yes. say like when you're marinating, you like stab it a little bit. Yes. And then so it has to it go in. inside, man. Like that's what people like they don't understand. American Indians. In America, do not know how to make chicken tikka masala. Now this is just a hate group. <laughs> They do not know how to marinate chicken. Americans It's... know how to marinate stuff. Have you had one of those steaks? <laughs> like, go to go to Texas Roadhouse and have a nice steak. That's nicely marinated, right? It's true though. Like, uh, 
it's all on the surface. I've actually yeah. never had the masala. I know it's popular, but I've never had. I I haven't. I'm not the biggest fan of chicken tikka to begin with, because I right. I like the kebab version. But but see, I feel like ki agar sheik kebab wahi hai. Why to get chicken tikka? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Would you? What would you pick? Would you pick a uh, sheik kebab or would you pick a uh, reshmi kebab? You live what's next to Green Resh- Park. What's the What's the reshmi kebab? Is it like? Uh... You lived next to Green Park. Are you see? Okay, reshmi kebab is like the real Malay. Uh, not Malay kebab. That's different. It's just like sweet and it's. Uh, It's yeah. like white in color. It's really, it's, it's delicious, man. Like, it's sweetish. Uh, yeah, I have to go chic. Yeah. Oh, But yeah. to be Love fair, you don't, sheiks. you don't know what it is. Have you had like? Oh, I've definitely had it. That's yeah. the point. Like, I don't remember. I've had it and I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there, that makes sense. Because <laughs> you remember chic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's this place in Delhi, um, which uh, I remember my dad used to go to Delhi, and he used to get these frozen sheik kebabs. Yeah. Used to get like a kilo or more maybe of mutton sheik kebab and of chicken sheik kebab individually, and the mutton sheik kebab always beat the chicken sheik kebab. Um, yeah, mutton is just. Uh, they just used got... to sell these frozen uh, things, and it it wasn't a chain store. I think it was like a small little restaurant which kind of sold the stuff. Hmm. And he used to get it home, and at that point we lived in Hyderabad. And um, dude, Hyderabad, the biryani must have been insane. Yeah, so the biryani is not insane at the Uh-oh. biggest places, right? So have you heard of Paradise Biryani? Yes, there are five Paradise Biryanis in every state so state of America, which are yes, not, which are not associated with the original one at all. Shit. <laughs> Because I remember, I found uh, when I first moved to America, and this is at a point where I've not gone to Hyderabad for like seven, eight years more. Yeah. And um, I go, uh, I I just see Indian food near me, and I've recently got a car at this point, right? And I go, um, oh, there's a Paradise Biryani. Could it be? <laughs> <laughs> Could it be at all? And then me and my friends, we we go over there, and then I'm like, hey, are you, like? Are you these guys? Are you associated with these guys? And then they were just like, "No, we don't have any branches anywhere." In like a really snobby tone, and I'm like, "It's like no, you do. You <laughs> name badal. <laughs> like, you you don't deserve this name. Like, why have you kept this? How is, is this not like a trademark infringement? Or whatever. Yeah. How are you not aware? Like, I'm sure you're aware of the fact that you're ripping off the original." Right. Yeah. Yeah. See, if I go and tell someone that you know uh, I'm Anu Malik, and you're like, Yeah, are you? Do you know this Anu Malik? I'm like, never heard of no. him. Yeah. <laughs> It's, just It's just weird. It's just weird. It's like, yeah. कभी तो Google search किया होगा. Like it's like, and the what what really pissed me off is the attitude with which he said, like, no, we don't have any branches anywhere. It was a very chitare attitude. Which I respect because Chitra back in the day did explain not explain what explain what Chitra attitude means. Chitra attitude is basically like um, we are the best. The uh, five, six, seven years ago, I don't know when they had the attitude that we amchi kutli shaka nahi hai, am amchi kuthe shaka nahi or something, which basically means we don't have any chains anywhere. Okay, and Chit- what is Chitra though? It's a sweet shop. Yeah, it's in Indian sweets in Pune. Yes. Yeah. Now they have branches. Yeah, yeah, big time. <laughs> Now yeah, they have branches, time. right? And basically, the Chitra attitude is this: We are the best. We don't really give a fuck about you, but we are the best. Um, our food is the best, which I am hundred percent for. They are they they are very good. They deserve that attitude. This is where it gets a little weird because they also have the attitude is like we are going to be shut from twelve o'clock to four o'clock. <laughs> 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 it's like it's like when you know you're that good, you can just get yeah. away with shit. Yeah, and it's like we we don't really care, but we're going to be shut. And even if you come at twelve o one, you're not getting anything from us. <laughs> you can, I don't care where you've come from. 
be here on time or go away <laughs> that's the chitrade attitude and it's it, it's beautiful that's like that's the confidence level we all aspire to have they yeah they they don't give a fuck about anything about customers yeah. like customer is king is like not in their dictionary yeah yeah no all. no that's not in that but that is that's the thing they've earned the right to be that <laughs> so it's, yeah i'm very conflicted it's like listen you suck but you're delicious <laughs> you don't give a fuck about me but i love you it's like an abusive just, relationship like with a mutai shop that i was just about to say that <laughs> <laughs> the toxic relationship that Chitre has with everybody. <laughs> with the, that, is it is it the Chitre attitude though, or is it just the Pune attitude? No, 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 no. It's definitely not Pune. I mean, most of Pune is like if you go to like Lakshmi Road or like the older inner areas, it's probably going to be like oh, we're going to be shut from twelve up to four, and you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean. Yeah, I I'm just gonna do a quick uh battery check. Okay, I'm good. So, uh, the first time I got caught by a cop, uh, while driving, uh, my bike. This was when like one month into me getting my bike, um, the signals legit used to be shut. Okay, from twelve to four, there were no signals on the street. Like they they used to be. so it was free for all like kuch bhi karo regulate yeah self regulation huh. self government and, and then at some point they changed it from 12 to 4 to 1 to 4 or something like that okay within the first month of me starting so i broke a red light and then the guy stops me and he's literally like why are you driving like this why are you going so fast or whatever i'm like ek baje <laughs> That was my excuse. <laughs> it's एक बजे like एक एक बज ने को like I thought twelve o'clock. I thought there were no signals at that point. Yeah, and the road was barely like it was pretty bad. Oh wait, so so there were no signals after twelve initially, and I think that that changed to one o'clock. And I was just driving by, and I think it was. Five minutes before one or something, or I no, it 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 was one to four. Sorry, my bad, I fucked up. It was one to four, and okay, then so it no, became no one to four, and then it became twelve to four. So Why I they... let's say I was driving at twelve thirty. I'm gonna edit this part out. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. So, so two, let me figure one. out the math in my head. Okay. So Time. I was I was yeah. <laughs> so I drive I was driving and I broke the red light and he stops yeah. me and he's like yeah. why did you uh, why did you go and I was I thought I I said I thought all the red lights are off at this yeah. time. And he's like basically like no the timing has changed now. Now the red lights are off from this time to this time and as of now the lights are uh, on and you've broken the red light. I'm like oh shit. It's like Puna's personality changed. <laughs> It's like Puna's version of daylight savings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, did you see the light though? I just assumed it was off because it was that time of the day. <laughs> it used to be yeah, shut. Upa, dekha bhi nahi tune. Nahi, I didn't. I didn't care because like, oh, okay, abhi yaha se ghar jaate hue. That was that was probably not the first light I broke. <laughs> that was probably the fifth light I encountered, and I got yeah. caught at that point. That's one thing that I've noticed learning how to drive here. Like I learned in India, but you know, I did learn. You didn't learn in India. No, no, I learned. I learned. I learned a uh, stick, uh, mm. but I never like actually drove much. Can you drive so, a stick? Yeah, I. You can. I used to be able to. You never. But, no. No, no. I did, used to. I did. You I did drive a car thing. in Pune. It was uh, it was towards the end. It was like when I was first year of college. Yeah. I learned when you know they take you on a hill and they're like, uh, oh, "Abhi yeah, I said, I said, chala out before without rolling back," uh-huh. and you're like shitting yourself, and then you stall in the middle of traffic and basically shut down the Indian economy. 
everybody. So, but um, yeah, I was saying that the issue that I faced here is that there are too many goddamn rules. Like yeah. I never thought that that would be an issue, but it's like it's lane, like when you're learning lane switching. Lane switching is one of those things you have to be you lane think switching before switching a lane. Like man, that's insane. <laughs> you think and then you like look over your shoulder and shit. Yeah. Oh, uh, but but yeah, it was it was crazy. And then it's just like you know when you're learning a new thing, like you're learning how to play guitar or piano or anything, you just yeah. think about like a million things to do all at the same time. And yeah. then fuck it up. Yeah, it's, that's how, that's the feeling I got. It's like okay, I got to speed and uh, keep the speed between this and this like a video game that you're playing. And then your yeah. left leg, please don't twitch because yeah. you're trying to find the clutch. <laughs> 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 you got to look over and there's a stop sign. People yeah. willingly stopping at something that's red and says stop was. I it was, was unheard of. It's it's the hardest thing to get used to. It's the yeah. hardest thing to get used to for me. Uh, because it's like, so one of the experiences for me when I was, uh, when I was driving, I was 19 and visiting my cousin and I drove his car, right? Uh, this was in Fremont, I think in Cal in California. And, um, there was a chalk, which came like, uh, for, uh, uh cross cross section, cross <laughs> No, crossroads, crossroads, (laughs) crossroads, yeah. (laughs) There was a crossroads there. And um, I slowed down because in India, that's what you do when there's a crossroad and you you slow down because you don't know who's coming from that other side. And then then he was like, oh, why are you slowing down? And I was like, because it's a cross section. Someone might be coming. It's like, no, that guy has a stop sign. He'll stop. And I'm like, you have massive faith in strangers. (laughs) (laughs) How, how did you learn to trust a stranger this much? Because I can't. Right? The way every, I drive, I assume everyone else on the road is retarded. <laughs> you know? You're not going to stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. What were you saying? I was saying every new driver here who's from India, Pakistan, basically that area, just yeah. has massive trust issues. As he said. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, just a fact. It's, it's like he's like, no, he will stop. I'm like, why will he stop? It's yeah. Like, oh, he has a stop sign. Is that enough? Like, <laughs> okay. Like I mentioned the other day, we were, like everybody's like a rescue, you know, like rescue dogs are there, na? Like they're uh, all skittish. They're like, Mah. like yeah. you go. To touch them. <laughs> that's how we all are. Man. That's how we are on the road. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, we have only four minutes. Oh shit! Nice. Dude, that that went by say, fast. Podcasting one, is yeah, we. I I still don't know what this is. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a trend that comes up. By I the didn't say half episode. the things I wanted to say about tandoori chicken. We we did not discuss the redness of tandoori chicken. <laughs> oh, redness! Yeah, I'm I'm not for I'm not for the redness of tandoori chicken. I just it's this, like fake tits. It's like you. You're putting extra, like that's color, right? That has that's definitely color. Yes, but there's got to be the right amount of color, so it's got to look appetizing and not bland. Against, and it also has to not look um, like too fucking red. It's got to be the right amount. Right, because if it's not red, now that's just gonna look like the reshmi kebab. And that's how the, 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 yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've they, been fortunate enough to have good tandoori chicken. All the tandoori chicken in America that you get or the chicken tikka masala, it's red. Sometimes it's too red. It's red as hell, but then yeah. there's no flavor inside. It's, it's like a fraud. It's like a fraud piece of chicken. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's definitely yeah. a chicken that cheated on the exams. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah yeah i'm but there is a there is a certain color that comes with the masala i think i'm i'm, I'm for that yes. this is dark orangish color that you get yeah because you put turmeric yeah. also let's 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 talk about this turmeric versus turmeric it is turmeric but yes i american accent martha to turmeric <laughs> So like, 
You you what? probably just say that because of Joe Rogan. I don't know. Because he's addressed he's addressed this. He's addressed this at some point. How do you yeah, say? Yeah, he is haldi lover. <laughs> <laughs> I say turmeric. Turmeric, yeah, turmeric, yeah. T U R M. The R is there. Yeah. The R, yeah. It's not silent. Yeah. You so you you say turmeric because you don't care about the word at that point. At that point, you're just trying to speak American. Yeah, and also it's just it comes out. Turmeric. Yeah, also, it's yeah. easier to say. I don't like saying the R. Turmeric. 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 You said it so, for so you, many years before you, moving here. Are you like when you say that you like turmeric? It just I don't know. It just comes out better. It's just a fun a a, a funner sound. You. Yeah. Haldi. You just call it haldi. Haldi. Yeah. That. That'll definitely like. Like we have a you... ceremony for that thing at weddings, man. Yeah, haldi kum kum. Yeah, just just haldi. Oh yeah, the... there's a mehendi and then there's a haldi. Isn't that crazy? We marinate the bride and the groom. Yeah, it's <laughs> like it's like for holy for holy we use fake colors, but for this haldi dalenge, bro. Like uh-huh. <laughs> we you marinate the, the bride. <laughs> like you pakne wala hai. Zindagi bhar tujhe pakna hai. It's it's a That's, subtle message. <laughs> this is yeah, insane. Like it's, it's it's a little bit of a warning. This is not gonna be fun for you. Are you sure? Next, let's let's do this. Let's make this pack. Next wedding that we go to, while they are putting haldi on the bride, let's just sprinkle like cumin and salt and pepper. Just yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Start throwing shit. It's something and, I'll really do, dude. Dude. <laughs> Like dalchini, cinnamon, tastier than <laughs> just haldi. <laughs> thoda jeera, thoda like what is uh, kya master cheese ko kya bolte? Rai, all of that. Yeah, yeah. Put all of that in. Yeah, and that'll confuse a lot of aunties. Yeah. And as a weird part will be when you're like, like I cook a lot of chicken, so I'll be like, usme ginger garlic paste dalo. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just you're there, you're sitting there, and then your mehendi hai rachne wali, and then you just see like ginger garlic paste. <laughs> it's like, as a ginger garlic paste ka jar, like as a fake real. Because at the wedding, at the wedding, when you're putting the har on, you throw rice. Yeah, <laughs> you throw rice, so you're like you're kind of trying to make a meal out of this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> whole Indian weddings are a giant meal prep. <laughs> yeah, it's Dude, what's the philosophy is, behind yeah. that? Like, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's like a much deeper, more serious meaning to it. But um, yeah, that's, that's what a, we think back yeah, then. Or someone just was like, just like like. What if someone had to cook, okay, and then they were dividing cooking duties, and then it's like tu ye paka, tu ye paka, tu ye paka, and then one person was left out, right? And then yeah. he's like, uh, "Me kya paka?" And he's like, "Tu dulhan aur dulhan ya kuch paka." <laughs> As a joke. As a joke. <laughs> yeah. And then he was like, "I'm gonna do this." <laughs> he's like, "Get the get the turmeric, <laughs> get the rice." <laughs> Oh man, yeah, Dude. that's a good note to end this. Yes, uh, yes. Thanks so for now, watching. Uh, again, yes, we will be OK back please. every week. Um, we haven't decided what day of the week yet, so we'll keep you posted on that. But, but definitely, whichever we'll day we decide, we're gonna like stick to that one day. Yes, given our homework uh, history, uh, we try to stick to it. <laughs> 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 yeah, no late submissions uh, on yeah. our part. What's the requirement for this? The requirement for this, like the level of effort that we put into this. Okay, this is the editing a part of it and all. That's that's hard. But actually, recording is like mic low, bet ho, <laughs> talk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and this is like this. I it's chill. This relaxing, chill time that you're just yeah shooting the shit. Yeah, which we would do normally, even if we weren't recording. Yeah. Like we we did this for 2 hours yesterday. We didn't record it. <laughs> yeah. That's the best yeah. part. Yeah. yeah.
but all right and we anyway. will probably also have guests on at some point so that should be exciting we'll just, that should be fun yeah we'll yeah, get yeah. Uh, random people uh, from our lives friends family whatever hell yeah celebrities and uh yeah, yeah. we're trying to get Shah yes. Khan on yeah yeah sure yeah <laughs> all right guys cool. all right see ya bye peace see ya